everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a little painting of a sea, a tropical seascape. So I've taken my canvas here and I've covered it with um, sort of a, a turquoise teal color just to save time. And now I'm going to go back. Today we have sort of a teal color here, red. Um, we have white and we have yellow. I had some green here. I had a little accident with the green like I did the other day because it was really watery. So we're just gonna leave that there. and We might work with that a little bit. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start um, just doing another coat over here. We're gonna take some teal and maybe a little bit of white and mix it together. Oops, a little yellow going there, that's fine. Okay, and we're using our large flat brush and we're just gonna go across back and it's okay if you don't blend the white and the blue in completely uh, the teal because it kind of creates a little bit of interest there maybe some we'll look up a few clouds in the sky there we go okay there we go now I'm going to work down here on the ocean so I'm going to take some of the teal well, just the straight teal and I'm going to go right in Gonna, you might get a little bit of water in it just to make it a little more spreadable. There we go. Going right down the bottom. And since this is going to be more of a tropical scene, we want our water to be a little bit more on the teal, teal side. That tropical, beautiful, warm tropical water. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, maybe a little land in the back and a little up here in the foreground. So I'm going to take some of this teal and mix it with the yellow. That's going to give us kind of an interesting green tone. There we go. Now you can use any types of blues that you like. You can use a regular like royal blue or an aqua blue. It's really how you want your painting to look. I'm just gonna bring this out, but I like you to experiment with different colors. See what kind of effects you can get. All right, a little piece of land there. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna put some here in the foreground. Really soothing, nice little painting. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to create a few little waves, just a few. I'm going to take some white and maybe back into that teal, and I'm still using my, my flat brush. I'm going to kind of just dab into the paint there get the edge of the brush nice and flat and we're going to just kind of go across almost sort of going up and down up and down up and down just lightly okay okay and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of pull this down a little bit kind of going sideways done a little bit of this before. It kind of makes it look like it's rolling in. A little bit of waves. This gives it a little bit of motion. And what I like to do is then sort of just go across. Bring it up. I'm just barely touching the canvas. Just bring it across. Okay. There. Nice. Maybe a few off in the distance here. washing against that piece of land. There we go. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is rinse our brush off, dry it off on our little trusty piece of paper towel, and we're going to go into a little bit of red and a little bit of blue, the, turquoise, uh, the teal there, and add a little bit of yellow. Uh, it's going to give us kind of a brownish tone, maybe a little white. 
Yeah, see how we just made that? We didn't have any brown, but we just made it by mixing those tones together. So you gotta think about if you don't have certain colors, you can always think about what colors you can mix together to make colors that you might like. Now see, I'm just brushing a little of this tone back and forth against that foreground part where we put the green to create a little bit of a maybe a beach okay and I want to do the same thing back here in the distance a little bit of that along there okay. Okay. there now some people would like to just leave it like this and it, it looks perfectly lovely it's just a simple little landscape impressionistic um, so you could do this or you could add you could keep going we're gonna keep going and add a few more things here I'm gonna add a few clouds in the distance I think I'm gonna use my sort of rounded brush my well-used round brush that we've used before I'm gonna just kind of tap in some some white, I'm gonna tap in some clouds, get a little more, dab it off, I'm gonna tap in some more clouds, and the paint is wet underneath, and it's gonna pick up some of that wet paint and make a nice little um, shadow from the wet paint. There we go, put some down here. Wherever you want those clouds to be, it's your picture. Okay, now I'm gonna kind of dry off my brush and I'm gonna go across a little bit. Now you can leave them fluffy like that or you can kind of just take the brush and bring them across. There we go. Bring some up here. And then you can go back and you can move them out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to work in the uh, the ocean a bit with some straight white. I'm going to take this white and I'm going to kind of just have a little bit of a tip to these waves. Just kind of up. Kind of tapping in that paint, a little more dimension. Again, this is one that's going to be very impressionistic. So we're just giving the impression of these little, these little waves. We might have some up here, kind of just crashing. A little bit of maybe sea foam up here. I'm gonna do is kind of dry off the brush, and again, I'm gonna kind of pull down, pull down, pull down, all across, and then I'm gonna kind of, on the bottom, give it a little smooth, smoothing there. There. And I want some more back here. Whoops, oh well, that's okay. Smooth it, smooth it. There's like a little hair in the brush there we want to get out. That was bothering me. Things like that happen. There. Okay. All right, let's check the time here. Oh, okay, we've got some time. So now you might want to add, um, if you'd like to add a little bit of uh, flowery, maybe a little meadow down here. I'm gonna just take some yellow, a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow. Kind of mix it up. And we can take our little brush here. We can add some little areas of little flowers popping up here. And then we might take some of our green 
Make a little more green. Add some on the leaves. And like this is a little bush. Or some little um, beach roses, I think they call them. Get little beach roses growing along the shore. There's a bristle in there, which let's get that out of there. Here we go. We're just winging it. <laughs> These things happen. This is sort of like live TV. Anything can happen. You never know. Okay, so now what you want to might do, maybe have some um, some pink flowers in there too. So we got a little red, a little white. We're just going to go along the shore. Yeah, some little pink flowers. Maybe some up here. Okay, and again we'll go in and grab some green. We hardly even really washed off our brush. All right, now maybe off in the distance we might have, you might want to have a little bit of indication that there's a meadow back here too. So we're just trying to keep this painting pretty simple, but we want to have a little bit of some interesting things going on just to attract the eye across the painting. And then we take some green and kind of blend that all together. You might have some little bushes up here, the horizon line. Little trees, you can use like the shape of your brush to make those little trees along there. Okay, now the last thing that we might want to do, you could leave it like this or you could keep, um, you could add another piece of land over here, you could add maybe some rocks, we've done that before. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a couple little boats in here I think. I'm going to take my, my long skinny brush and I'm going to roll it in some white. Maybe I'll do like one sailboat. Roll my brush, get a nice edge to it, make sure that the water is off that sort of collar piece there. And I'm going to just put a little bow in the distance. I'm going to come barely touching. I'm just going to bring one sail up here, get a little more of the white. And then I'm going to do my other sail. Space. There we go. And again, some of the blue is coming through, and that's fine. That gives it a little bit of shape. There we go. Maybe a tiny little flag. And then I'm going to go into the brown because I just want a little indication of the actual body of the boat down here. So I'm just going to do this. And then we can go back with our round brush and maybe add some waves kind of as it's going through. I just want to make it look like it's riding the waves. There we go. Okay. And if that dries, if you want to add a little more bright white to that once that paint dries, that's fine as well. All right. So. I think that's it for this little painting. Just a simple painting, a little seascape, tropical waters, and a tiny little sailboat. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you go ahead and try some of these techniques and skills that I'm teaching you and work on your own little masterpiece. Have a great day.